Right now at 6, protecting paradise, another threat facing the manatees. Trash piling up in local waterways, manatees potentially confusing that litter for food. So what can be done? We're taking action for you. And new projections out tonight about sea levels rising. It's past time to take action. What this means for the Sunshine State and how this all goes back to climate change. All that and more as ABC Action News at 6 starts right now. Live from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News, taking action for you. Good evening and welcome to ABC Action News at 6. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. As we come on the air tonight, President Biden is addressing the Ukraine-Russia crisis. Russian troops continue surrounding Ukraine's border, even as Russian officials say they're pulling back some of their forces. President Biden says NATO allies stand united and are urging Russia to choose diplomacy and stop its military aggression towards Ukraine. But the president says if Russia does invade Ukraine, the human cost for Ukraine and strategic strategic cost for Russia would be immense and there will also be consequences here at home. Defending democracy and liberty is never without cost. I will not pretend this will be painless. There could be impact on our energy prices. <laughs> so we are taking active steps to alleviate the pressure on our own energy markets. Meanwhile, U.S. officials say the Kremlin's large-scale military exercises near Ukraine continue with up to 150,000 troops still in place. New tonight, we're getting an in-depth look at yet another threat facing the Florida manatee. The sea cows are in a vulnerable position with more than 1,100 reported manatee deaths in the state last year. A significant number of those deaths are from boat strikes, but we also know manatees are starving to death and poor water quality is a big reason. Yeah, that's right, Jameson. Take a look this new video that we just received from a viewer showing litter scattered near a local waterway where manatees gathered this time of year and our Heather Lee went out to this area of Hillsborough County to see the trash for herself and find out what can be done to save these manatees. Manatees can be found in some of the most subtle places. Look at Behind a chain link fence and through the brush just below the Nebraska Avenue Bridge at Sulphur Springs, at least 12 manatees are huddling together in the Hillsborough River to stay warm. But Rod Hatch says, look a little closer. They're laying on litter at the bottom of the river right now. There's a spring right there. Garbage is all around, and this isn't even the worst of it. I posted some pictures up um, four nights ago of just all the litter, this whole lot was just strewn with litter, and it motivated somebody to come out and pick up all the litter, and he picked up six garbage bags full of litter out here. And I know his first name's Ed, so Ed, thank you out there. Hatch knows within a few days, the trash will be back. They could be mistaken for food and, and eating it and then uh, not surviving. Ronald Giovanelli visits the lot five times a week just to keep up with the sea cows. He sees the trash too. I've been coming here for a long time and I've always dreamed about this being a piece of public land. There is so little public land along the river that every time something comes up like this, we in government should snatch it up. Hatch reached out to the Tampa City Council as well as the mayor's office. He'd like to see increased littering fines. It's perception. If you're driving down the street in a work zone and you see, you know, uh, work zone fines doubled, it makes you think twice. Enforcement in Tampa is pretty low. Hatch pulled the numbers. According to Tampa police records, only 164 citations for trash under 15 pounds have been handed out in six years. Is that enough? No. But yeah. he says there are other solutions, like a specific type of netting that traps trash before it moves into a waterway. It's called a water goat. There's a, a gentleman up, up here on the river, his name is Joe. He's very proactive with the river as well, too. He put some water goats up. Uh, the city of Tampa made him take it down because there's nobody to maintain them. Hatch mentioned the city approving a garbage boat designed to collect trash last year. We reached out to the mayor's office and she said, quote, we need to declare war on litter in Tampa, on our roads, waterways, and everywhere, and all of us should pitch in. The city of Tampa in May should have a new trash boat ready to launch, which is specifically designed to help remove trash from our waterways. We also reached out to Councilman Guido Maniscalco. We're waiting to hear back. Heather Lee, ABC Action News. 
Meanwhile, ABC Action News has been covering the manatee problems extensively, and you can see some of our articles right here by searching manatees on our website, or you can go to abcactionnews.com slash full circle to see our Michael Paluska's in-depth piece where he dives into what experts are calling a tipping point for the Florida manatee and how environmental conditions like climate change are impacting these gentle giants. Jameson? Yeah, and Wendy, climate change is really impacting the entire state of Florida, and that is clear in this sea level rise map that you see right here put together by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. It shows just how vulnerable the Sunshine State is to sea level rise. NOAA today releasing this new report, providing an alarming forecast for the U.S. It predicts sea level will rise as much in the next 30 years as it did in the past 100. Scientists also say they're confident that U.S. coasts will see another 10 to 12 inches of sea level rise by 2050. Our understanding of what's been happening over the past, say, century, and then what might happen in the future has, has really advanced dramatically. And we, we build all that in, put those pieces together, and build that into this report. So I, I would say that um, in terms of the near term, out to 2050, we, we have quite a bit of confidence. And then we, where the models show disagreement or uncertainty, we factor that in beyond 2050. Scientists say the rise could lead to a significant increase in the frequency of coastal flooding, even on sunny days. They also say every inch of sea level rise also amplifies hurricane storm surge, coastal erosion, and wetland loss. All right, let's now get a first check of your weather and a live look outside with Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips here with your forecast. Dennis, I know there's lots of warm weather on the way, right? Boy, there is, Wendy. We're going to be talking about record highs, maybe as early as 30.